So now let's take a look at what we do when we start operating with certs. Now, the rules for adding, subtracting, and multiplying with certs are pretty much the same as what we would normally do when we're dealing with the algebra and we're dealing with variables such as x and y. For example, if I had root 3, in fact, for the purpose of this, let's say I've got 2 root 3, and I'm adding it with 5 root 3, if I considered this root 3 to be a variable such as x, and I said this was 2x plus 5x, we would say that using our algebra skills that we've got like terms here of x, so we collect them together and say we've got 7 lots of x or 7x. Well, when we're dealing with thirds, we consider it pretty much the same way. We've got two lots of root 3, and we're adding another five lots of root 3. So, in essence, here, we have seven lots of root 3. So, essentially, we're adding the coefficients together and then keeping the root 3, that multiplying by root 3. And a similar process can be followed when we're subtracting these thirds. So, for example, if I had two root 3, and I was subtracting away 5 root 3, I can treat this like I would when I'm subtracting algebraic terms from each other. And in this case, our like term is our root 3. So this is the same as saying 2 subtract 5 lots of root 3. And when we do that, we end up with negative 3 lots of root 3. Now, I also said that when we're multiplying terms together that include thirds, we use our normal algebraic sort of rules to, you know, multiply those terms together. So, for example, if I had 2 root 3, and I was multiplying it with uh, 5 root 3, what I essentially do here is I need to multiply the coefficients together, so the 2 times the 5, and I need to multiply the third terms together, so we need to multiply that with the root 3 multiplied by root 3. Now what's nice here is root 3 times root 3 will simply be 3. So we're going to be multiplying here by 3. And then 2 times 5 is 10. So what we end up in this problem here is 10 times 3, which is 30. But in essence, what we're still following is our algebraic rules, where when we're multiplying two terms together, we multiply the coefficients together and we multiply that variable term, but in this case, that variable term is a third, and we actually know the value of it. So we're multiplying the third part of each term together as well. Now, what's really neat with this is we can take it one step further here, and we can start looking at uh, expanding more complex sort of equations. And I'm just going to start fairly simple here and look at what we would do if we had root 5 multiplied by 6 subtract root 5. So here we can use the distributive law to expand these brackets. So what we'd be essentially doing here is we'd be multiplying the root 5 with every term inside the brackets. So we'd be starting with root 5 multiplied by that 6, and then we're adding on our root 5 multiplied by the second term, which is negative root 5. Now, what's really neat here is root 5 multiplied by negative root 5 will just be negative 5. So at the end here, this becomes subtraction, and it's subtract 5. And we rewrite this in product notation, so we say that this is 6 root 5. So our final answer here is 6 root 5 subtract 5. So as you can begin to see here, when we're using addition, subtraction, or multiplication of thirds, we can use the same algebraic rules that we would use with variables that we use with thirds.